I'm Joey Galloway, and welcome back to... Get That Kami! One. If this is your first time joining us on Get That Kami, the game is, basically, we have three contestants. Uh, two of which are normal democratic citizens, but one is a communist. And we have three panel judges. They get to ask any questions they want, and at the end, they guess which one is a communist. Hi, I'm Karen. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Peggy from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Hi, I'm Bonnie from Charleston, South Carolina. Karen, what would you like to ask one of the participants? Um, I'm going to ask participant three. What's your idea of a perfect date? Oh, good question, Karen. Um, I would like it if a guy would just pick me up and we'd go for a really nice dinner. He'd pay for it, of course, and then we'd go to a really funny movie. I just think movies are so great. I go to them all the time when I'm by myself. Like, that new movie out, I went last night by myself. Well, personally, I, I would like it if we went to a Russian battlefield, negative 30 degrees, with gunfire everywhere, shells raining down. That is my idea of a perfect date. That's very romantic. Contestant one, not A, come on now. That was for contestant number three, not for you. Please answer your own questions. Uh, Tammy, shut the f*** up. What would you like to ask for contestants? Um, I would like to ask contestant number one what their favorite book is. Okay, not a bad question. Easy. Communist manifesto. Alright, Bonnie, where are you? What would you like to ask one of the contestants? Um, contestant number two, what's your favorite thing? My favorite food is probably spaghetti and meatballs with some nice garlic bread and salad on the side. My favorite food is the blood of the Democratic leaders. Number one, once again, please refrain from answering other people's questions and saying those weird things. All right, back to the beginning. Karen, what would you like to ask? Um, I'm going to ask participant number one. What's your favorite historical event? Okay. Good question, Karen. Well, I would have to say my favorite historical event is Bloody Sunday. It was beautiful and cold, and it led to my personal hero, Joseph Stalin, coming to power. Can you say that? I don't think so. American see this. American. All right, Peggy, what would you like to ask? I would like to ask Kentucky number two what's your favorite song? That is so Um, I really like God's Plan. Um, you don't know it yet. It's by Drake, but it's going to be really good. My favorite song is the Soviet anthem. It shows a great power and great respect for the communist system. All right, finally, Bonnie, what would you like to ask? I would like to ask contestant number three, if you could have dinner with one historical figure, who would it be? Oh, that's a great question, Bonnie. To have dinner with Abraham Lincoln. He just did so much for our country, and I just want to know the brain behind all of his greatness. Karl Marx, he is my favorite. We asked some of our biggest fans to send in videos of themselves saying how much they love the show. Let's see who got on. Hi, I'm Haley Curtis, and I'm a big fan of Guess That Cop. <laughs> The for sure ways of telling of a communist is that they wear a lot of denim and they openly pledge communism. Be careful. In the unlikely event that the Soviets do attack us, we should be ready. That is why when you hear this sound, you do these steps. 
First, you'll want to find an object to cover yourself with. This object can keep you safe against the harmful effects of a nuclear blast. People would tell you to duck and cover. This is false. If you do this, you will die. Next, you'll want to grab a snack, because surviving a nuclear blast is tough on an empty stomach. Finally, you're going to want to find yourself a weapon, so you can fight the nuclear blast in hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's it for questioning rounds. Now, what are your predictions? I think it's number two. I think it's contestant number one. I'm thinking it's contestant number three. All right, the communist is Drum roll, please. Number one!